Now, as we discussed in the overview in Module 1, we're going to be discovering some of our pre-installation topics. Now, these are going to focus around uh, things that we can do to make sure that our installation goes smoothly and without any problems. Now, we're going to be covering the Ipswich recommended system requirements. Uh, additionally, we're going to be covering some real-world system recommendations with all the installations and configurations and classroom attendees. We've been able to put together a, a pretty realistic um, view of what you'll need in a monitoring system. And additionally, we're going to be talking about some planning aspects as far as uh, uh, overall planning about your installation so that it goes as smooth as possible. In Module 2, we're going to be covering the installation dialog overview. We're going to be talking about uh, all the installation dialog screens that you see and the ramifications of each of those. We'll be talking about pre- and post-discovery actions. We'll be looking at the new install discovery wizard and what that means and how you can utilize that. And we'll be going in-depth into actions and action policies. Module 3, post-installation. We're going to be covering performance tuning. Uh, these are the ways to get the most out of your application. Uh, both the application and the database side, we'll be talking about maintenance aspects. These are overall maintenance on what's a professional and maintenance on the database as well. And we're going to be covering uh, higher level application configuration. Uh, these are some of the basic configuration aspects in order to get your system running up and smoothly as quickly as possible. And we're going to cover um, all of those topics in depth and we'll take time for uh, discussion and any questions that anyone may have. Module 4, we're going to be talking about application usage. We're going to be delving in depth into the views. Uh, our three major views, the device view, our map view, and our reporting view. We're going to be talking about each of those and um, various uh, configuration steps for all those and how to best utilize those. We're going to be talking about dependencies, up and down dependencies, and how that can help you in your environment. We'll be talking about bulk field changes and some of the caveats for bulk field changes and things to watch out for. Additionally, we're going to be discussing acknowledgments and what acknowledgment mode means and how you can use acknowledgment mode and how some other people have used acknowledgment mode. Additionally, we're going to be discussing devices, that is device types, creating our own device types, adding and modifying those, or customizing existing device types. We'll be talking about creating monitors, uh, starting off with our active monitors, and then we're going to cover SNMP in depth. This is not just SNMP as it relates to uh, what's a professional, but this is a good broad overview on SNMP and how to implement it in your enterprise. Uh, in addition, we're, we've got a scripting overview where we're going to be going in-depth into the What's Up scripting capabilities, and we'll be looking at uh, What's Up scripting engine. Uh, so we can uh, build a couple of example scripts so you can see how that process works and how you can really move your monitoring beyond just simple checking to actually going in and interrogating these services and making sure that they're responding in the way that you want them to. Uh, we'll be talking about passive monitors and what's required to create those and some of the caveats as you uh, begin to implement passive monitors in your environment. We'll be talking about performance monitors. This is one of the new graphing features in 2006. And we'll be talking about some uh, a couple of gotchas and pitfalls that you need to watch out for there. But we'll be talking about how this can really uh, accentuate your reporting and give you um, much more rounded and well-versed reporting on all your devices. We'll be spending some time talking about actions, uh, action policies and actions themselves, both actions on devices and actions on individual monitors. Uh, we'll also spend some time talking about the percent variables, as this is the language of actions. And we'll be talking about the action methodology and things along those lines. We'll be delving into the credentials manager. Uh, talking about how the credentials manager will affect you and uh, a couple of things to watch out for as you begin to populate your credentials manager. Um, additionally, we're going to be going through our recurring actions. Uh, these are actions that we can set up to fire off on a regular basis uh, without a device being up or down. And recurring reports, uh, these are the, uh, the ability to kick out specific reports on regular time slices. 
Uh, so we don't necessarily have to go out to What's Up. We can have What's Up come to us. Uh, additionally, we're going to spend some time talking about active discovery. This is having What's Up go out on a regular basis and, and, and discover new devices on your network or discover new services on existing devices. Uh, we'll be talking about the web interface in depth and talk about the differences between the web interface and the console. Uh, what's involved as far as that's concerned, and you know which is going to be best for you to use in your enterprise. Then we're also going to be spending some time talking about what's up gold data migration. That is moving your information from your current what's up gold installation into your what's up professional installation, and what's the best way to do that, and what are the things to watch out for. 